Don't know if I should zoom out, zoom in. Oh, we'll zoom out. And I'll just pan across here. Number one T is somewhere in there. Zoomed out as far as I can. And over here, ninth hole will be coming up through this area here. Rod already cut some. Okay, here I am standing on the first tee. Uh, the hole is somewhere down there, I believe between the two trees that I'm going to zoom in on. I believe the hole is right up that direction. I'm going to walk it here. I'm going to back out. Now I'm just going to walk it. Give me some appreciation here. Lots of tall grass through here. This hole isn't too bad. Looked a lot worse about two months ago. The 21st of November. Not too bad. This stuff will just bush hog. Yeah, that'll clear easy. And I see the flags are coming to them now. Got it tucked back up here by some pine trees. Hopefully they'll grow up. And let me spin back around, show you back towards the tee. Tee is back that way. It's not that long of a hole. Nice tapering fairway. Have a couple of trees to come through. That's the end of number one. Number two's T is right over here somewhere. Number two is a real shorty. Kind of had to throw number two in just to set up numbers three and four. Here's the T that just plays right back towards the Jeep there's a relatively tall tree compared to everything else out here that we're gonna put the pin somewhere in that area try to use that tree to provide a little blockage but this is just gonna be a short open I don't know 180 200 foot hole gonna try to use the trees and maybe these bushes here on the left and very steep. Steve, of course, mastermind. I'll have to turn the volume down when I actually watch the playback. <laughs> so I can't hear my commentary. I see he did put the flags right behind the tree. There's that. Number three T over there. No, I didn't show it on camera. I was just pointing. Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. And coming right past this big tree. Let me turn back around and show you the T. The T is back there somewhere. I think right in there. Can't see it through the viewfinder. Just a little shorty. Gonna turn the camera off. The next T is right over there. Gonna turn the camera off for a second and I'll turn it back on over there. Okay, 
here we are standing on the third tee. It goes through here. <laughs> Let me zoom in on that so you can see, yeah, there's nothing going on there. Just a bunch of trees, really small trees. Let me show you up in the distance. There's a tall tree uh, there and some other trees there. And I believe it goes right between those, kind of right there. So we're going to try to walk through here. What's that? Yeah, it gets thick right in through here, but not too bad. This is why I'm saying we just need like one or two pass through it here. Then we'll have to decide which ones of these to save. You know, I think save a lot of these just to create obstacle. Yeah. It's really not that long. Out? Yep, out in it ends in the open out here. Okay. And we don't know for sure where the pin's gonna be. We can either play it straight through kind of where the flags are right now or we can duck it this way over behind that big tree that I showed from the yeah. tee and make you hook around the corner. I'll come out here to where we have the flags currently set. It would almost be nice to put them in between them two saplings. Could do that, too. And say develop it really nice. And looking back towards the tee, you can see that you can come through this gap in the pine trees between that pine and those two pines and the big tree on our left here standing at the pin. Just right back through there. We'll have a hole there, hopefully, later today. <laughs> Turn around, come over here to the fourth tee. As you can see from here, the woods are back up where we just came out of. As I spin around, you can see there's a big open area. This is where a lot of the finishing holes are. I think like uh, 13 through 18, something like that. Also, number eight will be on this side of the road, between me and the road, in this open area. 18 will be right over there. So, we'll come to that later. For now, number four uh, heads in this direction, up this hill. Um, going to go up to the hill and then take a dogleg right and head almost over to the opposite road. So we'll try to walk this, see if we can find where it goes. See a flag up here at the top of the hill, that's the general direction, so it might be more the fairway marker. Well, I don't remember for sure. It's, that was the fairway marker when we had the T farther to our right. I think it may be between these two pines now. See, I put a flag over there and painted some, but I think we almost might come more this way. And come out here, and we talked about taking this one pine tree down that I'm looking at right now, just to create more of a corner for us here. So if we have to leave it and push ourselves wide out here, it's still a nice fairway. Now, once you get past this pine, you can look this way, and you can see the fairway. Play down this way. We've got pine trees bordering all the way on our right here. Pretty nice fairway already cut through here. This looks a lot more open than it did two months ago. May or may not leave this one tall tree, probably leave them all just for the anything over, you know, 10 feet high. And this plays up into a natural uh, clearing here with trees bordering in a circle right in this area. You can see our flags there in the middle of it.
this clearing is a lot more defined in the summertime. <coughs> well, we have a nice circular area here that we'll probably carve out. Our 10th, 11th fairway is just right out here between where we're standing in the road, so we may have to pull this pin a little bit farther back from the road. Yeah, up here. Uh, as I turn back and look down, what is the fairway back that way? It's gonna be a pretty cool hole. Yeah. Now, the next tee, we may have a little trouble finding. It's this way. And we kind of play back up the hill a little bit. We always have trouble finding this key. Oh, I see flags over here. I love these pines in here. Aren't they great? We're yeah. going to leave as many I mean, pines yeah, as we can. Exactly. Just leave the pines right up there, away. Leave the pines. Might have to take some of the other junk. Kind of like a big sand bunker. Here's number five. And uh, it's a little hairy off the tee. There's one real hairy pine tree or straggly pine tree right here off the tee that'll probably come down and right through here is going to be the hole. We're going to have to take a couple of regular trees. Deciduous trees. Comes through here. Follow the paint this way. The tall trees on the right here will be the right side of the fairway. Fairway will be over here on the left. Really don't have any idea of distance here. Boy, we need a chainsaw. Yeah. And we come up here to the crest of a hill, and I believe the pin is. Yeah, I can still see paint coming down this way. The pin is going to be somewhere down in there. I believe I believe I wanted it to go, yeah, through these two pines. I see the flags down there now. We could stop right here short of the pines, or we can go right through the pines. You see the flags down there? Right down in there. I like, gonna, there. I like it too. Adds a little length. I don't know, down in there somewhere. I can't see it through the viewfinder. Flags down in there somewhere. Actually, I'll walk down there so we can walk up to the next tee. So, this is pretty hairy down here might have to stop here just to, I don't know what to do about this thing. Cut that big Probably. Yeah, just to... Approaching your pin. Exactly. The problem is all the trees are so small right now. You can't bust a big drive. Yeah. I mean, you can. A lot of the trees are so small you can throw hyzer bombs at the pins yeah. right now, but they'll grow up.